Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, we are going to discuss the latest travel restrictions in the Philippines, especially the requirement of an international certificate of vaccination for those passengers coming from abroad. But before we get started, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. So let's get started. Based on the latest resolution from the Interagency Task Force, resolution number 143, there will be no quarantine for fully vaccinated individuals coming from a green lane country. Please take note that the Philippines is not yet open for international tourism. Even though you are coming from a green lane country, but if you are not an eligible passenger because Philippines is not yet open for international tourists, so that means you cannot come to the Philippines or you cannot enter the Philippines. Now, for those eligible passengers such as Filipinos, dual citizens, or former Filipinos or Balikbayans, or foreign nationals who have valid and existing visas or those foreign spouse of a Filipino national or foreign parent of a Filipino national. If the foreign uh, spouse of a Filipino national is traveling to the Philippines, they can be entitled to a Balikbayan visa. Hence, there is no entry visa requirement. Now, if you are unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, or the requirements of vaccination has not been met, or you failed to comply with the testing before arrival in the Philippines, you will have to undergo hotel-based facility quarantine of five days and you must pre-book your hotel for at least six days. Now, all passengers from the U.S. are not qualified in this requirement of vaccination status and also USA is not from a green lane country. If the Philippines will open for all passengers abroad who are fully vaccinated, you will be required to present an international certificate of vaccination or the yellow card or those approved by the World Health Organization as an official vaccination certificate. There are a lot of passengers from the U.S. who came to the Philippines. We were issued CDC cards from the pharmacy or from the healthcare provider. And some states have their own digital COVID certificates and some were able to present a QR code for their COVID-19 vaccination. But all of these were rejected in the Philippines. Now, what are we going to do? I was able to look up some information regarding the legitimate yellow card in the U.S. However, there are a lot of viewers who are purchasing yellow card or ICV from Amazon. And I checked all of this and it looks like some of them were fake or overpriced and we cannot verify the authenticity of the document. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to compare the ICV from Amazon and from a legitimate source that I was able to find out today. And I'm going to share this with you in this video. So I'm here on Amazon and I typed in international vaccine certificate. And let me see what we can find out here. So there are several yellow cards in here. And let me check the best seller. So let me click on this one. And there are actually 175 uh, rates or reviews from customers so it says here first edition issued January 1st 2007 and it cost $15.75 for just one uh, version or for one international certificate of vaccination but I'm gonna go ahead and look at the ratings in here and if there's anything that's off or maybe the paper is not in good quality and says somebody, somebody said that it is overpriced and has a poor paper stock. Okay, somebody said that this is the official vaccination record from the World Health Organization. It's, there's also the measurement for this card. And let me see some other comments in here. Okay. 
So let me go back and look at the other options for this one. Okay, so there are actually several sellers of this card. But I was able to find out today a genuine and legitimate source of international certificate of vaccine from the CDC website and it linked me to a different government website. So let me show you where it is. Now I was able to find the link from the CDC website where it directs you to the official government bookstore where you can purchase these ICVs for $25. There's actually 25 pieces. So it comes out as a dollar each for each ICV paper. Also outside the US, you can purchase this under the World Health Organization website. And this is based in Geneva in Switzerland, but it will take more weeks for it to arrive in the US if you're purchasing from the US. Now here is the bookstore from the government website and here you can purchase the ICV certificates. However, there is no guest checked out so you needed to create an account. So you need to have an email address and also create a new password. Okay, so after creating the account, now you can log in and add to cart the International Certificate of Vaccination and it costs $25 and there's actually, it's actually a package of 25. So there will be 25 pieces of the ICV. Now you have to add your card information and the shipping is free and it actually ships for like three to five days so today is october 13th i'll wait in like uh, maybe in three days it will arrive in my house then continue to next step and you will receive an email confirmation for your order so just double check everything before lagging out to make sure everything is correct and now after ordering the email confirmation will be sent right away so it's $25 and I will have to wait in three days for it to arrive in my house so I'll update you regarding the appearance of the certificates and you can also share this or give it away to your family and friends because there's like 25 pieces of this in one package because it is not being sold individually. Now, if you're able to obtain the ICV from the government website, please share in the comments section below if you're able to use this to travel in the Philippines and be allowed a no quarantine requirement or if your vaccination status has been recognized. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel and if you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for tuning in and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day. I will see you in my next video.